that there's a machine, a piece of machinery that is broken down in the runway at <laughs> King George Island. So in the meantime, while we're waiting for that piece of machinery to be moved, we are going to have to disembark the plane and bring our carry-on luggage with us. Um, we're hoping to, that this process will take a half an hour or less. But at this point, we don't know. It could be as much as an hour or two before they're able to get the runway cleared and make sure that it's safe to land there. Um, So definitely colder than anything we're gonna feel. The once, honestly, the uncomfortable part of the camping is not once you're in the bag. I have personally found that I often overdress and I get in the bag because it's so mentally prepared for that but today we have been expecting it we've gone amazing training slideshows from Danny so we know what we're doing now the point of the metal overboard procedure is to repeat it over and over
just witnessed something very exciting. The penguins were all going in what they thought was the right direction and then they all kind of stopped and poked their heads. probably does in most peaks in Antarctica. Actually, you know what? I will be able to tell you in two seconds. Let me turn on my GPS here. Yeah. It might have the name of the peak. is Anvers Island. Uh, we've had some great views of the full height of Mount Francais, rising over 9,000 feet there behind us. We hope to have our Zodiacs launch here probably in the next uh, 10 minutes or so. And then we'll get the gangway going. Uh,
1975, but uh, in 1973 they realised that the uh, base T at the bottom of Adelaide Island, as it was then known, which later became Rothera, couldn't uh, get uh, the ships in there because of pack ice early in the season, which meant that they were constrained with their uh, you know, length of season to do science work and that. So they worked out a system where plane could fly up to halfway and meet the ship coming down from uh, the Falkland Islands. And they tried another island, Doma Island, but the snow was too soft the first couple of years, and so they eventually moved the uh, plan of operations to here, and they put this hut here in 75, and they had three people stationed here just for three or four weeks over the summer when uh, the ship could get this far but no further, and we had a uh, plane fly up when the weather was good enough and uh, pick up food, mail, and the scientists and ferry them down there. You can see here uh, the, the twin order landing on top of the glacier up there with the uh, skis. And then uh, if the ship was in and the weather was too bad, you know, you'd have the hut full, 14 folks in there, and then uh, people in tents all the way around outside. And we can set up a walk to look at some of these Gentoo penguins. They're a little bit scattered right now. Most of the ones I've seen have been molting.